How true is it that a continent can split into two? Is this a sign that the world could one day split up as well? While digging out this content to prepare this video for you, our level of curiosity was as high as yours should be right now. Therefore, before you even think twice, try not to miss a second of this video, for it is filled with the most exciting and intriguing content you'll ever come across as far as this split up of the African continent is concerned. Hang on to your screens and go nowhere, for we are diving into it right away. From the Sahara Desert to the lush jungles of the Congo, the African continent is a land of incredible diversity. It is the second largest continent in the world, which covers an area of over 30 million square kilometers and is home to more than a billion people. The continent is made up of diverse landscapes, which range from vast deserts to lush rainforests. Current studies predict that the continent is splitting into two due to tectonic activity. How correct is this? Let's find out. Located on the African plate, the African continent is surrounded by the Eurasian, Indo-Australian, and Antarctic plates. Moving northward, the African plate is slowly pulling away from the South American plate in a process known as rifting. This process is caused by the movement of magma beneath the Earth's crust. Over the years, scientists have been studying the East African Rift System, a network of rift valleys that stretches over 3,000 kilometers from Ethiopia to Mozambique. It is one of the most active tectonic regions in the world, and so is believed to be the beginning of the splitting of the African continent. And so, in order to understand this continental split better, let's learn more about the East African Rift System. This rift system is a divergent boundary where the African plate is dividing into two separate plates, the Nubian plate to the west and the Somali plate to the east. Being one of the most tectonic regions in the world with frequent earthquakes and volcanic eruptions, the rift system is characterized by a series of deep valleys, lakes, and volcanoes, which were formed as the Earth's crust. The East African rift system is divided into two main branches, the Western Rift and the Eastern Rift. The Western Rift, which runs from the northern tip of Lake Albert in Uganda to the southern end of Lake Tanganyika in Tanzania, while the Eastern Rift runs from the southern end of Lake Turkana in Kenya to the coast of Tanzania, where it meets up with the Indian Ocean. This African Rift system is home to the most famous wildlife reserves in Africa, which includes the Serengeti National Park in Tanzania and the Maasai Mara National Reserve in Kenya. It is also home to several important archaeological sites, which includes the Old Duval Gorge in Tanzania, which is known for the earliest human ancestors. Aside the geological activities going on in the East African Rift System, it is also an important source of natural resources, which include geothermal energy and minerals such as gold, silver, and copper. Recent research has proven that the Eastern Rift, which is the most active of the East African Rift System, is slowly widening at a rate of about 7 mm per year, while the Western Rift is widening at a rate of 2.5 mm per year. Evidently, the splitting process of the African continent is not happening overnight. It has been going on for millions of years, despite the fact that scientists have only been able in recent years to measure the movement of the tectonic plates and observe the split. At this point, you must be wondering what the split means for the African continent. Well, it is likely that the eastern side of the continent will continue to move away from the western side, and eventually, a new ocean will be formed between them. This new formation will significantly have effects on the climate, wildlife, and people of the continent. Some currently dry areas may become wetter while others become drier, and of course, movement of wildlife and people will be affected as well. Looking at the brighter side of it, this split will serve as an opportunity for new trade routes to be created in Africa, which of course will boost economic growth. It might as well lead to new discoveries and scientific breakthroughs. In conclusion, the splitting of the African continent is a natural process that has been going on for millions of years, and while it may have some challenges, it also presents opportunities for the continent and its people. It is a fascinating topic that scientists are still studying, 
and while it may take millions of years for the process to be completed, it is a necessary reminder of the dynamic and ever-changing nature of our planet. This is Think Rich Africa, and as you already know, we are that number one community that brings to you the most exciting and valuable content. Therefore, do not forget to hit the like button, share your thought with us at the comment section, and subscribe to our channel in order not to miss our next interesting videos.